In this set of videos on sampling rate conversion, we need to be careful about the kind of notation we'll be using. So for time domain signals, we'll be using the notation when we have these parentheses, which are these circular type, that will always represent continuous time signals. And the Fourier transform of that, which will be the continuous time Fourier transform, will be represented by x of j omega, where omega will have the units of radians per second. Similarly, we'll use, for discrete time signals, we'll use these squarish parentheses, and that will represent a discrete time signal. And the uh, Fourier transform, which is the discrete time Fourier transform of that, will be represented by x of e to the j omega, where the little omega will have uh, will have units of radians per sample. In addition, we'll use the following representation for ideal sampling. So we will sometimes use x of t, the switch notation that closes every t seconds, and we'll have xn which is simply samples of x of t every t seconds. Or we will sometimes also use this block representation where we'll have a continuous to discrete block. We'll use this arrow with time t to get x of n. So in terms of notation, we'll have t will be the sampling time. This is for uniform point-wise sampling with units of seconds. We'll have Fs, which is the inverse of the sampling time, will be the sampling frequency in hertz. And then we will have omega s, which is 2 pi over t, will be the sampling frequency. in radians per second. And finally, we will also be using ideal reconstruction in these videos. So in terms of notation, we will write ideal reconstruction through this block diagram. We get a SAM sequence we pass it through an ideal discrete to continuous block where t will represent the sampling time and we will get x hat of t and that x hat of t will be sync interpolation so it will be given by n from minus infinity to infinity x of n sine of pi t minus n t over capital T divided by pi T minus N T over capital T. So this is your sink. And the ideal reconstruction will always mean by that to be the sink interpolation formula. Okay. So this is the basic notation that we will be using throughout the videos for sampling rate conversion.